The political landscape in South Africa has recently witnessed significant upheaval following President Ramaphosa's call for the formation of a GNU. This proposal aimed at fostering cooperation among political parties, particularly the ANC and the DA. President Ramaphosa's call for a GNU came in the aftermath of a deliberative session of the ANC NEC held in Boxburg. The GNU, characterized by its inclusivity and multi party coalition, seeks to transcend partisan divides and address pressing national issues. By inviting all political parties, including the ANC and the DA, to participate in national governance, Ramaphosa aims to foster unity and collective action in confronting the challenges confronting the nation. However, the proposal has met with resistance from certain quarters within the ANC, particularly among the ANC members who oppose collaboration with the DA. Concerns have been raised regarding the potential repercussions of dissenting members indicating a climate of internal discord and apprehension. The NEC's preference for a nuanced GNU, distinct from a full-fledged ANC-DA coalition, has sparked dissent among some members. Critics argue that such an alliance compromises the ANC's principles and undermines the sacrifices made during the struggle against apartheid. Figures like Lindy Wezulu, a prominent ANC heavyweight, have vocally opposed the idea, denouncing it as a betrayal of the party's historical leaders. Moreover, ordinary ANC members and allies have voiced skepticism regarding the feasibility and desirability of entering into coalition with the DA. Questions have been raised about the compatibility of ideologies and the implications for the ANC's grassroots support base. In contrast, proponents of the ANC-DA pact argue that it offers a pragmatic solution to national stability and governance challenges. They contend that collaboration with the DA, despite ideological differences, is necessary for effective governance and policy implementation. The ANC leadership faces the daunting task of managing internal dissent while navigating negotiations with potential coalition partners. The issue of disciplinary action against dissenting members looms larger with the party spokesperson emphasizing the NEC's unanimous endorsement of Ramaphosa's proposal. However, the lack of clarity regarding specific measures underscores the complexity of the situation. Meanwhile, external stakeholders such as the SACP have expressed conditional support for the GNU, advocating for the exclusion of the DA from any coalition agreement. This highlights the intricate web of alliances and interests shaping the political landscape.